the ancient and mystical realms of Norse mythology, where the mighty tree Yggdrasil connected the nine worlds, a group of heavenly beauties emerged from the golden halls of Asgard. A combination of fierce and loving, these ethereal warrior maidens rode on steeds that galloped through the skies. These warriors were known as the Valkyrie, and they were as breathtaking as they were mysterious. Their tales were intricately woven into the rich tapestry of Norse legends, resonating through the ages. In the clamor of clashing swords and the whispers of the dying, the Valkyries' names echoed, synonymous with war, destiny, and the mystique of the afterlife. In every echoing gallop across the sky, in every glance that decided the fate of warriors, the Valkyries brought to life both valor and honor. Their presence tied the threads of mortal endeavors to the realm of Asgard, a reminder of the glory and tragedy that awaited them. This is the story of the Valkyries. From the majestic halls of Asgard to the rugged landscapes of Midgard, the origins of the Valkyries were as varied as they were wondrous. Most commonly, the Valkyries were considered to be either daughters or creations of Odin himself. This connection highlighted their divine nature and their role as Odin's servants. Being daughters of Odin associated them directly with the divine realm and underscored their role in the fate of warriors. In some stories, Valkyries were portrayed as the daughters of mortal kings or noblemen. This lineage emphasized their noble and heroic characteristics, aligning them with the warrior culture of the Norse people. Other tales suggested a different origin for the Valkyries, tying them directly to various aspects of the Norse cosmos. For instance, they were linked to the Norns, the beings who weave the fate of gods and men, or they were thought of as spirits or demigoddesses, with a specific role in the Norse mythological landscape. While being enshrouded in the mists of time and legend, the origins of the Valkyries remain an intriguing mystery. More than likely, the Valkyries' origins were a mix of all the above, as different Valkyries had different parents. They stood as a bridge between the heavenly and the earthly, a blend of divine purpose and mortal valor. In the Norse cosmos, where the roar of battle echoes through the realms, the Valkyries reigned supreme as the choosers of the fallen. Their name, Valkyrie, literally translates to chooser of the slain. However, Valkyries were not always depicted as beautiful warrior maidens. Instead, in the early years, Valkyries were thought to be demons of death, possessing a shrouded specter-like form. Over time, they evolved into what we know now, a female warrior with human-like features. These divine warriors, draped in armor that shimmered like the northern lights, rode their magnificent steeds across the sky and descended upon the tumult of war with a grace that belied their lethal purpose. They were not mere specters of death, but rather, they were the revered guardians of valor. As they traversed the skies, their eyes were sharp and discerning, surveying the chaos of battle and seeking out those warriors whose bravery outshined the rest. To be chosen by a Valkyrie was to be granted the highest honor a warrior can achieve, for this guaranteed them a place in the golden halls of Valhalla. They were the arbiters of fate on the battlefield. Their decisions determined who among the fallen would rise to glory and who would be consigned to the forgotten shadows of history. As they rode through the heavens, their battle cries blended with the sounds of war, a symphony of honor and destiny. Each Valkyrie was a master of war in her own right, bringing a unique strength to their sacred duty. Their presence on the battlefield was a source of inspiration and fear, for they were the final judges in the trial of combat. In their hands, they held the power to elevate the noblest of warriors to a status akin to the divine. The Valkyrie, their eyes as deep as the night sky, reflected the knowledge of the ages. Their arms as strong as the roots of Yggdrasil, wielded weapons that could shape destinies. They moved with grace that belied their strength, a testament to their dual nature, as nurturing as they were deadly. In the hushed tones of fireside tales, their names were spoken with reverence and awe. From the highest peaks to the deepest forests, the legend of their origin inspires both fear and admiration, a constant reminder of the thin veil that separated the world of the gods from that of men. In their stories, the Valkyries were not just mythic figures. 
They were the personification of the cosmic dance between life and death, fate and free will. Beyond the mortal realm, there existed a place where the brave lived forever. In the mythical realm of Asgard lied Valhalla, the majestic hall of the slain. This grand fortress, unparalleled in its splendor, was ruled over by Odin and stood as the final abode for the warriors chosen by the Valkyries. Being chosen to reside in Valhalla after death was considered the highest honor for a Norse warrior. It signified recognition of their glory, courage, and prowess in battle. Both marvelous and immense, Valhalla was often described as a grand hall, with a roof made of shields and spears as its rafters. It was said to have 540 doors through which 800 warriors could walk side by side. These warriors within Valhalla were called the Einarjar, and it was here that they found their eternal reward. Valhalla's vast halls resonated with the sounds of celebration and preparation. Here the fallen warriors could endlessly feast on the finest foods and drank mead, served by the Valkyries themselves. These hallowed hostesses, whose duty extended beyond the battlefield, ensured that the Einherjar were well cared for, that their spirits were kept high and that their skills honed. Day after day, the Einherjar engaged in battle, clashing in friendly combat, to hone their skills for the greatest fight yet to come, Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. In Valhalla, death was but a pause for the warriors. Each evening, after their day of fierce training, their wounds would be healed and the warriors would feast and revel in Odin's hall. It was a cycle of endless valor, where the glory of battle was relived night after night. The Valkyries, in their role as caretakers and companions, add to the vibrancy of Valhalla. Their presence was not just that of warriors, but also of muses, inspiring the Einherjar with tales of bravery and heroism. In this afterlife, where the Valorous lived on, the line between legend and reality blurred, and the Valkyries stood as the keepers of this sacred threshold. In Valhalla, time loses meaning, and the only currency was honor. Here, in Odin's magnificent hall, the greatest warriors of the Norse world found a life after death, a continuation of their legacy, forever remembered, forever celebrated. All thanks to the Valkyries. In the realm of Norse mythology, Valkyries existed as a large group of fierce warrior maidens. However, there was never a definitive number of Valkyries that existed. One thing is for certain though, there was definitely more than one. Amongst the Valkyries, 13 stood out from the rest, each a unique embodiment of war's many faces. These divine maidens, guardians of the fallen, bore names that resonated with the power and poetry of their roles. Gunnar, whose very essence is intertwined with warfare, often led her sisters across the skies. She was seen soaring above battlefields, her presence heralding the coming of great valor and the selection of the bravest souls. Brynhildr, a central figure in many sagas, Brynhildr's story intertwined with the mortal hero, Sigurd, weaving a tale of passion, betrayal, and destiny. Her story bridged the gap between the divine and the mortal, a poignant reminder of the complexities of fate and love. Hildur. Hildur personifies the ferocity and chaos of combat. Her name was whispered with reverence by warriors who sought courage and strength in the heart of battle. Gundul, a figure cloaked in mysticism, Gundul wielded magic with the same skill as she wields her weapon. She was a weaver of spells and shaper of destinies, a mystical force on the battlefield. Hluk was the embodiment of the tumult and fury of war. Her battle cry echoed across the skies, inspiring warriors and heralding the arrival of the Valkyries. Herfudor, known for her strategic prowess, Herfudor could sway the tide of battle with her decisions. She controlled the chaos of war, influencing its outcome with her divine insight. Skigild, representing an era of relentless conflict, Skigild's name evoked images of unending strife and a warrior's unyielding spirit. Thrud, the daughter of Thor. Thrud stood as a paragon of strength, 
Her presence on the battlefield was as formidable as her father's, a testament to her divine lineage and power. Mladgudurs von Viet. In the brutality of war, Mladgudurs von Viet represented grace and elegance. She was a reminder that even in the midst of chaos, beauty and serenity could be found. Herge's arrival on the battlefield was a sign of imminent devastation for her foes. She personified the destructive aspect of war, leaving a trail of defeat in her wake. Radgreeter, with a mind for strategy, influenced the course of battles with wisdom and foresight, guiding warriors towards victory or defeat. Ran. Ran embodied the aftermath of war, the spoils of battle, and the sorrow of loss. She was a reminder of the inevitable consequences of conflict. Regenleaf, with her divine heritage, commanded respect and awe. She was a symbol of the divine power that the Valkyries wielded, a bridge between the gods and the mortal realm. Together, these 13 Valkyries weaved the destinies of warriors, their names and deeds etched into the annals of Norse legend, forever remembered in the sagas of old. In the pantheon of the Valkyries, Sigurdrifa emerged as a figure of wisdom and mentorship. Sigurdrifa was sometimes considered to be the same as Brynhildr, due to parts of their stories overlapping, but for the purposes of this video, they were distinct figures. Known not just for her prowess in selecting the slain, but also for her role in guiding heroes towards their destiny. Sigurdrifa stood as a beacon of knowledge and guidance in the Norse sagas. Her name, synonymous with victory and wisdom, resonated across the realms. Sigurdrifa, transcending her role as a chooser of the slain, becoming a teacher to those destined for greatness. She imparted her vast knowledge of runes, the secrets of war, and the mysteries of the gods to mortal heroes, shaping their paths and fortifying their spirits for the challenges ahead. One of her most notable interactions was with the hero Sigurd, to whom she bestows invaluable wisdom. In a moment of profound connection between the divine and the mortal, Sigurdrifa revealed to Sigurd the mystical runes, sacred knowledge that would aid him in his legendary exploits, which ultimately led to him meeting Brynhildr, another Valkyrie. Through this act, she bridged the gap between the world of the gods and men, bringing the celestial wisdom down to the earthly realm. The story of Sigurd and Brynhildr was the inspiration behind Sleeping Beauty, and will be covered in a separate video. Sigurd Drifa's legacy extended beyond the battlefield. She was a nurturer of heroes and a shaper of legends. Her teachings echoed through the ages, a testament to the Valkyrie's multifaceted role in Norse mythology. In her, the wisdom of the divine and the valor of the warrior coalesce, creating a legacy that endured in the tales of Norse mythology. Among the Valkyries, some were known as the Swan Maidens, beings of ethereal beauty and mystical power. Members of this revered group possessed the ability to transform into swans or swan-like characteristics, a symbol of purity, transformation, and transcendent grace. This remarkable ability to shift between the form of a fierce warrior and a delicate swan adds a layer of mystical allure to their legend. As swan maidens, they glided gracefully over the waters of the mortal realm, embodying elegance and serenity. Yet beneath this serene exterior lies the heart of a warrior, ready to transform back into a Valkyrie and ride into the tumult of battle. The duality of their nature, the delicate swan and the formidable warrior, spoke to the complex character of the Valkyries. It reflected the multifaceted nature of existence in the Norse cosmos, where beauty and brutality, tranquility and tumult, coexisted. The Swan Maidens, in their dual forms, remind us of the balance between the ethereal and the earthly, the peaceful and the warlike. However, these Valkyries' fates would be changed when they encountered a mortal man while bathing. As the story goes, a man venturing through the wilderness encountered a Valkyrie bathing and decided to steal her cloak. Without it, she would be unable to transform or return home. Being bounded to the earthly realm, the man attempted to win the Valkyrie's hand in marriage. Eventually, the man succeeds. However, this would be short-lived. 
As the years passed, the Valkyrie located her stolen cloak. Furious, she donned the cloak and returned home, leaving her husband behind. Heartbroken, the man searched far and wide for his wife, traversing land, sea, and even the various realms. When the man eventually found his wife, she told him that in order to win her back, he would have to pass a series of trials. These trials were assigned by the Valkyrie along with her sisters. The man happily agreed. Each trial was harder than the last, but with bravery, love, and determination, he succeeded in every challenge. Upon seeing that her husband had proven himself to be a strong and capable man, the Valkyrie happily returned to her husband's arms. In their ability to traverse the realms of gods and men, both as majestic swan maidens and as awe-inspiring warriors, they captured the imagination and left an indelible mark on the tapestry of Norse legend. The swan maidens, in their grace and might, stood as enduring symbols of the mystical and the martial, forever soaring in the annals of Norse lore. As the shadows of Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods, loomed over the Norse cosmos, the Valkyries prepared for their most pivotal role. No longer mere observers or choosers of the slain, they readied themselves, transforming into fierce warriors of the apocalypse. In this ultimate conflict, where the very fabric of existence was at stake, the Valkyries were not just participants, they were harbingers of the end and guardians of a new beginning. With the sounding of Gjallarhorn, signaling the onset of Ragnarok, the Valkyries rode out, their cries piercing the heavens. Clad in armor that shone like the sun against the darkening skies, they led the Einherjar, the noble warriors of Valhalla, into the fray. The battlefield, a cosmic arena where gods clashed with giants, witnessed the Valkyries in their full glory. Amidst the chaos, the Valkyries fought with a ferocity that matched the gods themselves. Their swords, gleaming with the light of fallen stars, cut through the ranks of their enemies, while their shields bore the marks of cosmic battles. In this cataclysmic war, the Valkyries were not just warriors, they were the embodiment of the courage and strength that they had always revered in the hearts of mortals. As the world crumbled and a new reality dawned, the Valkyries' role in Ragnarok became a testament to their unwavering spirit. In the face of the end of all things, they stood tall, a symbol of hope and resilience amidst destruction. The Valkyries, in their journey from the choosers of the slain to the mentors of heroes, and finally to the warriors of Ragnarok, embodied the nobility of the warrior spirit. They remind us of the complexity of destiny, where honor and duty intertwined with love and sacrifice. In their duality as both bringers of death and guardians of the afterlife, they represented the timeless allure of the mythical world, where every end is a beginning and every loss is a gain. As the echoes of their legend reverberated through time, the Valkyries continue to ride, immortal in the annals of legend and lore. They were not just characters in ancient stories, but were symbols of the enduring human spirit, inspiring courage and resilience in the face of insurmountable odds. The Valkyries are a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there are those who will stand as beacons of hope and bravery.